Hey, what's up, guys? I'm on Arts here, and I'm making uh, yet again another tutorial. And this is a uh, request from Z Shabby, and he wants to know how uh, how to make text fly in in Cinema 4D. So first, I'll just show the effect that I think he uh, that I think he's kind of talking about. Um, it's kind of like this one, I guess. Or, no, that's a bad example, but I still do like that intro. But, uh, maybe more like this one. You can see how the text kind of flies in, and it also has a motion blur. And I already did make a tutorial motion blur, but I know some of you guys, uh, won't want to take enough time to go to my YouTube page and look at my other videos, and I understand that. Um, so... I'll show you guys how to make the effect. So first we can do some nice render settings. Output 1280 by 720 and that's the HD output that you should always be using. Frame range, all frames because we're going to be making an animation and you should save it for format. You want a quick time movie and you can click here. I'm not going to do it because I'm not going to actually render it and save it but you can click here to choose what to save it as and where to save it. So I could add a um, global illumination and ambient occlusion, but that will take a while to render. And you guys, um, I have, in almost every of my tutorials, I show how to do the settings for ambient occlusion and global illumination. So just check out some of my other videos if you want to get in on that. But the only effect we're going to be using is object motion blur. And also, I already have a tutorial on um, how to do motion blur, but it's not much of a tutorial. It just tells you to add the motion blur in the in the render settings and in the text so I'm gonna be showing you how to do that again real quick yeah I think I was just talking really fast right there so load in a text object and let's make our text I'm gonna make it say um tutorial because it's a tutorial and font by the way I get all of my fonts from dafont.com and it's by far the best font site so shout out to uh, dafont.com dafont.com I'm just gonna try to find a nice font um let's try to find one that has it's a little bit thicker no homo let's go with Pepsi nice plain font that looks good first thing you're gonna do that I always do when I'm making a typical intro where the camera's like, if you know what I mean, in front of the text and there's no floor and the text just like floating there. What you do is um you do a camera what I like to call a camera lock on effect and I'll show you how to do this. Or not an effect, but just a camera lock on. You're gonna load in a camera and you're gonna don't adjust the or just make it oops, just center the camera so your text is in the center of it. Click on the camera and click that black box where the mouse is so it turns white. This means you view from out of the camera. And once you've done that, how to get a lock on camera effect, it's really easy. Go to the first frame of your animation and click a keyframe and go to your last frame. So I'm going to show you how this is effective. Say you want to rotate, oops, I want to uncheck my camera, I want to unclick my camera. Say you want to rotate your text and zoom out. So you get a better view so you can just drag the one letter back at a time. What's really handy about the lock on camera is right when you click on the timeline, it automatically locks on back to the position. So I'll show you again. Zoom let's say it's zoom all the way out, rotate in a crazy way. And you don't wanna have to rotate it all the way back. So all you can what you can do is just click on your timeline and it automatically is in the same place that you keep from the camera. So again, I'll just go over that. All you need to do is do a keyframe, click on the camera, keyframe at the beginning, which is this button right here to add a keyframe, and keyframe at the end, and it will lock on your camera. So now I'm going to go back to the text and edit it a little bit. And I might change the title of this to Basic Intro uh, in Cinema 40, like slash text fly in, because I'm showing you guys a lot more than just how to rotate text and make it fly in. So you're gonna make the depth of your 
title, uh, uh, like 100, but it depends on the size and the font and your own preference. And then go to caps, and you're going to want to start fillet cap uh, and fillet cap. And I just like changing the radius. I think it could be 4, but it's, of course, up to you. Just don't make anything crazy. So now, uh, as we have that, I'm going to show you how to make each letter rotate in. What you're going to do is, yeah, once you have the text object, press C. So that breaks each letter apart. So as I'll show you, you can click or unclick it. And then you can see you can click on the L, the O, the U. And, and you can individually move around one letter left to right, however you want to. Add separate materials to each letter, whatever you want to do. Um, so let's... Uh, click on the text object and do the plus sign and then again and then again and once you see all these letters you can stop so let's start with the T I usually think it's um you can just play your timeline to see how long you want each letter to take I usually do 25 30 or 35 frames and because it's only a 90 frame animation or just put it 150 but I'm going to make each one 25 frames. So once you have selected your first letter, click a keyframe on 25 frames in the timeline and keyframe at 0. And make sure your green marker is at 0. What you're going to do, you're going to zoom out, rotate it upward like that so you have a good view of it, and drag the blue arrow. Um, once you're dragging it, it will show a little number right there. You can see the numbers at a thousand right now, and you want it to be about fifteen hundred to two thousand. So now, if you play your animation, voila, the text wrote, uh, just flies in. So I'm just going to show you how to rotate it. So uh, if you click on this, it will give you options to rotate your thing. Say you just want to rotate it in some crazy way like that. Just rotate it. Click the keyframe again and pull it out. And let's watch that again. So that looks pretty good. Usually when I'm doing it, I just uh, rotate it. Uh, just I don't know how to really describe this, but kind of like 90 degrees forward almost. Like um, yeah, I can't really explain it very well, but I, I don't really do much crazy rotations. I'll just show you how to do this process for like three or four, two, two more letters, just so you guys get the idea. And because I don't want to take make too long of a tutorial. So click on the U, um, and remember on the last one we did 0 to 25, so I'd go up fi either 5 or 10 frames, I'm going to go up 10 frames, so this one is going to be 10 to 35, so just click a keyframe at uh, 10 on the timeline and 35 on the timeline, and go back to the first frame for that letter, which is frame 10, and do the same thing, how you're going to rotate, click on the rotator right here, rotate it to the left kind of like this and upward and then zoom out a lot and I have the magic mouse so it's really easy for you guys I don't you can click this button right where my mouse is but it doesn't work very well so you're gonna click back on this thing right here so it has the mover arrow so you can move it in any way and oops if you edit on do something it goes back to that view also but what you're just gonna do is take the blue arrow and once you zoomed out and drag it back to fit between, so it says 1500 to 2000. And then you can zoom out so you can see the letter. And this is what I meant, what the usual motion I do when making letters rotate in, is I click this red, um, move over this red thing, and drag it back about 90 degrees. So it starts like right there, and then just kind of flips in. So I'll show you what it looks like. and I'll just do it for one more letter just so you guys, so I'm sure you guys know how to do it click on your next letter, for me it's T go to frame 20 and then if you remember it's a 25 long, uh, 25 frames for each letter so 20 plus 25 is 45 obviously and then click another keyframe and then go back to your first keyframe in, in this letter which would be 20 and we're going to do the same motion you t click the rotator right here, move it to the left, and then move it up, 
and then zoom out a lot. And then you're going to click on this like T kind of right where my mouse is. So you get the three arrows, the blue, the green, and the red. And you're going to take the blue one and you're going to drag it back uh, about 1500, 1600, 1700. And click the keyframe button. Hopefully you guys have been doing this, which is this button right here. You can see I didn't drag this one, this T, back enough. So I'm just going to simply zoom back, do the same motion, <coughs> and drag it back with the blue arrow another like 300. I don't know what unit that's in. So let's just watch our animation. That's pretty good for having the um having the letters fly in. I'll just show you how to apply the motion blur. It's really easy. You want to apply it not on the text object, not on the one, not on the tutorial, but on each individual letter and just copy and paste it. Um. So you're just gonna right click on the letter, Cinema 4D tags, and motion blur, and just keep the strength as it is. And then how to copy this? You just control and then drag down so to, you have the green plus and just do that for all the letters for me I only really needed to do it on the first ones because those are the only ones with motion but it doesn't really matter so um, I'm gonna pretty much wrap this tutorial up pretty quickly because I want it to be under 15 minutes so we'll be able to upload to YouTube thanks for watching guys I hope this was a helpful tutorial on how to make the how to make a basic intro and how to make the text fly in. So um, thanks for watching, guys. And if you found the tutorial helpful, please subscribe. This has been I'm on the